This is a tips video for Super Mega Baseball 3. I'm going to give you 7 fielding tips plus 1 bonus tip that have helped me become a better Super Mega Baseball fielder. Learn from your mistakes. If something goes wrong, ask yourself what you could have done differently and you'll be more likely to implement it next time a similar situation arises. Know where the play is. Before throwing a pitch, understand where the runners are and where you'll be looking to throw on balls to the infield and outfield. Be ready to opt for first base instead if the ball gets to your fielder too slowly. Fly balls can be tricky. If you're not sure where it's going, release the stick and the fielder will indicate a direction if they are not yet under it. This is something you will get a feel for over time, but you can never assume a ball will be caught without your diligence. As of patch 5, fielders waving their arms are sure to be in position for a catch. You can cut a throw with the left bumper. It is often good to err on the side of aggression with the throw in and then cut if you need to. When to dive or jump. For infielders, if you're in between on whether to jump, don't do it. Sometimes infielders will reach up and snag balls just over their heads and it's easy to misread how high a ball is even with a lot of reps. If you're in between on a dive, usually do it, especially with a capable fielder. Often it will be just out of range, and without a dive, it casually rolls by into the outfield. Occasionally, you will only have a play if your fielder makes the play standing up, and if there is no runner to advance, should the ball go through. You may as well remain standing and hope. The outfield is even more situational. You have to ask yourself, where do the runners end up if I go for it and miss, versus playing it conservative, and make an informed decision. If you're working into a gap and another outfielder can pick up your mess, the risk is much lower. Know if there is a potential steal coming, and have a plan in place. If it's a double steal, what base will you throw to? If the runner taking second is slower, he may be the better option. Pickoffs only catch the runner if he bites on the move and initiates a steal. Throwing a pick or even simply stepping off the rubber does make it harder to steal, according to Patch 5 Notes. I assume this means the runner shortens his lead. The CPU will be less likely to steal as you attempt more pickoffs in an inning, the same patch notes say. However, there are risks with throwing over. Errant throws are fairly common, and both throwing over and stepping off come with a mojo penalty for the pitcher. Know the speed of base runners and the arm strength of your fielders. You will be better able to decide if you have a force play or if you need to challenge a runner attempting to score when the relevant variables are known. Be cognizant of your alignment. The automatic alignment is usually good. They always set up for double plays and they will sometimes bring the infield in in tight games with less than two out and a runner at third. But to field effectively, you should know where your fielders are yourself and sometimes you may even want to adjust them if you are thinking more aggression is appropriate than the AI initiates. You may want to play back early in games, opting to let in a run on ground balls, as a big inning can set you back a lot more than a single run. Halfway you can opt for instead of fully in when you're non-committal about going home and the runner isn't super speedy. Corners in is another split the baby option, hoping to stop the score on a ball to first or third, but still playing your best D up the middle. If the runner is fast, this is better than halfway. Bunt I would only use if I'm 100% sure that they are going to try bunting a runner from second to third. It allows the third and first baseman to field the ball down the line while the middle infielders cover their bases. I don't like guard lines. I rarely have one get by down the line in this game and I find that one questionable, especially on the hitter's non-pull side. Changing the outfield alignment, I will almost never do. If a sack fly wins the game instantly, I'd shift them in. Short answer to alignment is the vast majority of the time. You're best off not changing anything. My hitting tips video is at 30 likes. Can we get this one to 40 likes? The list is designed to work as a progression from 1 to 8. If it seems overwhelming, start at the top. They're like levels. Which level are you on? I work on these every game in SMB, especially number 1. Learn from your mistakes. If I mess up enough, I will eventually become the sickest SMB3 defensive player of all time. Make sure to subscribe if you play SMB3. You won't want to miss what I have coming down the pipe.